Hello, this is Dr. Hui Liu from San Jose, California, United States. My email is ibridgepi at gmail.com. iBridgePy is a flexible and easy, easy to use Python platform to help traders to make automated trading robots. And recently, iBridgePy is able to trade with TD, Ameri TD Ameritrade. And this tutorial is focusing on how to get a refresh token from TD using Python on Windows. Prerequisites. First, you need to have a TD Ameritrade Live account, which means you have account login ID, password, and then you need to set up a registered app at developer.tdameritrade.com. If you have not done so, you can check out this video to create an app. What you will get from this app are callback URL and consumer keys. You will need to use these two items in the following to request a refresh token. On Windows, on Windows, I assume you are using Anaconda Python 3.7. Also, I assume Google Chrome is installed. Actually, this solution is not tightly correlated to Anaconda Python and Google Chrome, but I do the demonstration on Anaconda Python and Google Chrome because I don't need to change the, the, Python, uh, the Python package of TD Ameritrade. So it's just for, for easy to demonstration. If you prefer to get a refresh token in other ways, you can check out this video and this video. One of them is for get a refresh token without any coding. The other one is to use Python on Mac system. There are four major steps. Step one install dependencies. Very likely, the only two packages you need to install is Selenium and TD Ameritrade because Anaconda has installed most of the dependencies for you already. Step two, download and unzip Chrome driver from chromedriver.chromium.org. Step three, open an empty Python file somewhere and copy the unzipped chromedriver.exe file to that folder, which means the empty Python file and the chromedriver.exe should live in same folder so that they can work together. Step four, write a simple code to retrieve the refresh token. When you install Selenium and TD Ameritrade, if you see the following error messages, which means you need to install Visual Studio. For the demonstration, I installed Visual Studio 2015 community version, and that's good enough already. So first, let's go to Anaconda prompt. This is how you check what packages you have installed. The command to check is pip list. Yes, there's a long list. Actually, what you need to do if you have not done so is to pip install Selenium. And Anaconda will install Selenium for you because I have installed Selenium. That's why it's like that. The other thing, you, the other package you need to install is called TD Ameritrade. So pip install TD Ameritrade. And then you have it already. Then we can close it. Then open Spider. Be careful, you need to use Python 3.7. And then 
you should open an empty Python file and write down these two lines, actually three. Import tdmetry.auth and tdmetry.auth authentication put in this is the consumer key you get from the registered app and this is the callback URL you, you created in the registered app. Be careful, the trailing uh, slash is required to put there and then we can print. Also, let's talk about how to download Chrome driver. Go to this website. Also, you need to check before download Chrome driver. What you need to do is check what kind of Google Chrome you are using. Google Chrome. So open Google Chrome. What you need to do is go to here, go to help about Google Chrome. You will find I'm using 79. Then go back to here, go back to download. And then this is what I need to use. Because I'm using Windows, so I need to download Win32.zip. After download, I need to copy the unzipped Chrome driver.exe to the Python file, the empty Python file, which is that's something I'm using right now. This is untitled zero. Put this two together in the same folder. And then we can start to run this code. You can simply just run it. Don't touch anything yet because Python is doing things for you automatically. Then this window will show up. What you need to do is input the user ID. And then click login. Click allow. Then don't touch anything. Let Python do its stuff. And then come back to here. Click enter. Then you get the response. Access token is here and the refresh token is here, so which means refresh token is from here to here. This is the refresh token. Finally, you got a refresh token. Thank you very much. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel of Hybrid Pi. We will update regularly. Thank you.